Hey there, welcome back to the shop. So if you got a 7.3 um, power stroke that uh, you know might have a, a slight engine miss, maybe it cuts out at times, send you a, a service engine soon, um, you know, be getting some faults. Um, you know, let me show you uh, just a couple of things uh, that you, easy enough to check that uh, could more than likely be causing that type of a problem. All right, so coming over here to the uh, uh, left side of the engine um, to gain access to what we've got here, you know, remove the uh, air cleaner, all the in input tubes and whatnot. That will gain you access to about right here. So now at this point, I've loosened this 10 millimeter nut, and um, that allows this to to pull loose. Now with this in place, you see how right here, it's it's literally coming in contact with the valve cover. And if you pull this off, you rotate that underneath of there. Look at that, oh focus camera. There we go. This one's not quite rubbed through, but it was definitely on its way and I've seen lots of them be that way and it's those it's usually at least two. This one looks like it's rubbing on four wires. Um, if I get this out of the way and we point a light down in here, right there, I'm going to rub this clean right here, but look at these marks right here. That is in the paint, nice shiny metal, so once your wire finally rubs through, then it's going to ground out on the valve cover. That is a real common problem with these things, with as much vibration as they have. Um, just another quick, you know, obviously you want to check the condition of this plug right here and pull it out and make sure that, you know, because what happens a lot on these is, you know, you got your glow plugs wiring, which is uh, these two big wires on this side and these two big wires on this side. They draw a lot of current, so a lot of current goes through here if you don't have a good enough connection a lot of times it will burn and sometimes move into the next wires that are in the uh, in this wire connector which run to your you know through the valve cover gasket through your injector so that's just a quick uh, you know obviously you got you got uh, another connector over on that side to uh, check but no other wires you know pertaining to all these wires right here are basically all the wires coming you know from the uh, IDM which is your injector injector driver module so you know I've seen lots of them there with these wires scored right here and one thing uh, you can do I'll show you right quick you know obviously you need to repair the wiring best thing to do is you know to, to pull the loom back a little bit and cut that section of wire out and um, re-solder and shrink wrap or shrink tubing or whatever on there and actually repair it. Don't just tape it up because if it's been exposed then you're going to get corrosion in there and later on you're still going to have issues. Uh, once the wire's been exposed it needs to have all that part of it that's been exposed cut out of there and then after that What you should, could do is after you repair the wiring, get you a piece of um, like silicone heater hose or something of the like, and just uh, wrap it around like so, and then just run a little bit of electrical tape. And then when it sits like that, it can no longer rub on the valve uh, the valve cover. So just a quick little video on uh, giving some tips on uh, something I find a lot on these on these engines um, they vibrate a lot and so things may seem like they're alright but when under load and all that kind of stuff they uh, they tend to um, do that kind of stuff quite a bit and since these wires just happen to be so close to the uh, valve cover you know another idea is you, you could pull this whole loom and tape it up but I find that this this type of repair um, 
you know, tends to work best after you've repaired the wiring if you find any bad wiring. If you don't find any bad wiring, just go ahead and put this on like this and um, just like I'm going to do with this pickup because this one doesn't have anything that's actually burnt, you know, rubbed through the insulation yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and just tape this on here and um, call it good and it'll probably be just fine. So anyways, thanks for watching.